So my heroes, welcome back. We're going to carry on from uh, the glossary. We have stopped with uh, the word dime, which means a coin or a dollar in uh, the spoken American uh, English. Okay, let's carry on. So I'm going to start with uh, page 58, and we have, uh, we have read and explained everything in page 58 in all the pages. So let's start with the police officer here. You can see that he's a white man. His name is O'Brien. And he's new in that uh, district, okay? He was talking to this uh, black shop, uh, shopkeeper. Then this little girl, who is black too, without racism of course, she came to talk to him and to tell him that Mother Fletcher is suffering, okay? She is having a problem, okay? And she needs an ambulance. But O'Brien knew that people in that district, they were so poor that they couldn't afford to go to the city center. Okay, so uh, he knew that they would use uh, like uh, a clever way to go. They're going to play sick. They're going to say, oh my God, I'm sick. Please bring an ambulance. The ambulance would come, take them to the hospital. And in the hospital, they're going to meet the doctor for two or three seconds. And they're going out to the city to do their business. Okay, so that's why he didn't believe the girl. He didn't believe the little girl. Okay. But by the end of the pages, uh, in, on page 61, he accepted because he was, I felt that he was afraid of Mother Fletcher. Okay? Next page, you can see the look at the, his face here. He's looking at everything. Everything is clean, spotless. Okay? It's not uh, dirty, this house, in spite of being poor. Even the kitchen is spotless. Nothing is dirty. Then here, he was astonished to see this, like, very black woman, okay, she was so black. O'Brien had never seen as black a person in his entire life. She was so black. And look here, uh, they were, if it was possible, even darker than her skin, her eyes, they were so, so dark. She was an ebony. I think ebony is here. The word ebony is here too. Okay, let's carry on. So, here in this page, which is the most important page, we have the dialogue between uh, O'Brien and the old lady. And you can feel that the old lady is not afraid of the policeman. She is not afraid of being black and him and him being uh, white okay she's not afraid of uh, asking for something that she feels it's 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 her own right to have an ambulance okay and she was like okay don't you know how to use that radio if you don't know how to use it let me call another officer and you have that feeling that she is so strong so arrogant so prideful okay she doesn't care about him and when he asked her about her name she would say mother fletcher yeah, and he was like, yeah, give me your first name and second name so I can uh, report it to, to, to the people okay, in the hospital. And he, she was like, it's just Mother Fletcher. Do it, okay? And he was like, okay, okay. How old are you? And she said, full grown. Which means I'm old enough, okay? She was treating him in a bad way. And that maybe tells us uh, about the old ways people used to treat her so maybe the police used to treat her in the past in a bad way that's why she is so aggressive with this patrolman or with this policeman or with this officer by the end of, uh, of page 61 you can see that he, he decided to call the ambulance and everything was all right and he forgot about her he said and promptly put it out of my mind which means I erased her, I deleted her from, uh, from my mind, okay? But a week later, he was called into one of the precinct offices. And the precinct is the district or the area, okay? He was called to one of the area's offices. Calling a patrolman to an office, this is not logic, there is something, okay? Where a lieutenant and a lieutenant is a higher officer with a lot of stars on the shoulders, okay? And two patrolmen and two other patrolmen were waiting for him. And since I have read this story for the first time, I was asking myself when uh, I reached this part, hmm, maybe the woman was really sick and she died. 
and uh, they're going to ask him why didn't you call an ambulance so quick okay we're going to see next week we're going uh, to study uh, the last part or the second part of the story and we're going to see what's going uh, to happen now let's move on to uh, the critical and practical questions which are so important what is the setting of the story and uh, I have taught you my kids that the setting is about where and when this is too important okay so where it's uh, in 145 5th Street which is a real place in the States and when it's in the past we can't say maybe it was like two years ago three years ago maybe mother Fletcher is still alive still alive in the author's mind but it's not a real story okay even though the place is real okay it's a realistic fiction people are real no they are not they are made up by the author but the place the setting the time yes it's real why did mother Fletcher become a legend in that place she became a legend for the simple reason that she has lived in that place since 1920 all the 20s she can remember everything she is as if she is a, a, a living book of history as if it's right as if we have written this she is a living book of history this is enough. so she knows everything in that neighborhood okay and she can tell you everything about everyone even famous people who lived in that neighborhood how did the author describe mother Fletcher and her house let's start with the house so of course the house was too clean it was spotless without even one spot mother Fletcher she is too old too old okay over 90 years old she was so black he described her using the adjective ebony so dark he said so 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 dark when 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 o'brien saw her the first time he didn't believe that there is a person who is so black or so dark like this okay what did ah uh, what about me what about teacher malik and his students can can't we describe this woman yes we can she is arrogant and she is prideful she is like if she if she were like uh, able to to walk she's going to say look at me i am the old woman the old black woman what did the little girl tell the patrol man about mother fletcher this is easy of course she told him that she is sick she is so sick and she needs an ambulance and what did he do at the beginning he refused to help at the beginning he refused to help but I had that feeling when I'm reading the story that he 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 was like astonished by this woman that he was afraid of that woman and that he accepted by the end he accepted to call for an ambulance thank you so much my kids I hope that uh, you are enjoying this beautiful story we're going to carry on next week together see you and goodbye goodbye my kids